I love small tiller outboards. They're so simple. You don't got a big steering wheel taking up a lot of space for your boat. You don't got a lot of steering linkages that can break on you, cause you problems. It doesn't get much simpler than that. You are physically moving and steering the motor with your arm. It's super easy, but there are some frustrations with it. There is a little bit of learning curve. It's funny because when you turn it left, the boat goes right. So we're going to cover how to drive a tiller outboard. Super basic items in this video, but I think it'll be worth the watch. Here's your tiller handle. This is your throttle. It's kind of like a motorcycle throttle. Pull it back like this. It gives it gas. Here is the shift lever for forward, neutral, and reverse. From a steering and driving perspective, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's super, super simple. We'll show you how the boat reacts when I turn the motor left and right in forward and reverse. Throttle rotated all the way closed. That means it's all the way, if you're looking at the throttle, it's rotated all the way clockwise. I'm gonna put it in forward. All right, now we're going straight. When I turn the outboard to my left, boat goes right. Now I'm going to go all the way to my right. Boat is going left. I'm going to go all the way to the left. It's kind of counterintuitive, but if you think about it, it makes sense. The motor is pushing the direction uh, wherever the tiller handle is pointing. So if the tiller handle is pointing that way, the motor is wanting to go that direction. What that does is it pushes the back of the boat that direction. If you were to think about it, if you were to get out of the boat and push the back of the boat that way, the front of the boat is going to go that way. The boat's going to rotate and the boat when it's moving forward, it's gonna go the direction the front of the boat is pointed. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but after a couple of trips, you'll, you'll nail it. It's super easy. Some of the issues people have, that I still have, is oversteering. It's super easy to oversteer with the tiller because it's immediate, immediate feedback. You don't have any delay. With the steering wheel, you've got a little bit of delay. You've got a little bit of force kind of pushing against it. One thing that you can do to counter that is a lot of outboards have a resistance lever here that makes it a little bit more difficult to turn the outboard. So you're not gonna shoot it that way as easy and cause the boat to jump to the right. On this one, there's a resistance knob in the back that increases the resistance to turn it. So it makes it a little bit harder to oversteer. The other thing people have a problem with is the throttle. You'll get going and you'll wanna slow down but you'll forget which way to turn the throttle to slow the boat down. It's not like a lever where back is slow, forward is go, but it is just like a motorcycle. So think motorcycle. Most outboards, when you turn it towards you or counterclockwise when you're looking at it, it gives it gas and that's gonna make the boat go faster. So if you're going and you're wanting to slow down, think of a motorcycle, you slow down by rotating it away from you or clockwise looking at the tiller. That's why most, most outboards are set up that way. So now we'll look at reverse. Reverse is a little bit different. We we'll throw it into reverse. If I turn the tiller to, if I'm looking backwards, if I turn it to the left, the back of the boat is gonna go right. If I'm looking at the back of the boat and I turn the boat right, the back of the boat is going to go left. The motor is pulling you one direction or the other. In this position, the motor is pulling the boat that way, so you're going to go that way. A couple of other things with tiller outboards like this, most of them don't have power trim. So trim is the angle that the outboard is sitting on your boat. So this would be in a downward position trim. This would be in a higher position trim. And trim position plays a huge role in getting good speed out of your boat and not dragging the front in the water and planing out effectively. I've got a whole video, I'll put that link down in the description about trim, setting trim, testing your different trim levels. It's a manual process, there's a lot of components that go along with that, so check out that video below. Motors don't get much more simple than a small tiller outboard like this. I absolutely love them, so I'm always recommended them. 
you do get one, get out on the water, go slow, understand how your boat reacts with the direction that you're steering, at the speed that you have the throttle set to. Get out there, enjoy the water. As always, pick up your trash. When you leave trash out, you ruin it for everybody. I appreciate the view. Have an amazing day. Thank you.